Williams is here. No, with us? Tanya Williams. Tanya Williams. Tanya Williams. That's a change. Well, no, because it, it was always Tanya Williams, and then it was a change, yeah. and it's back to Tanya Williams. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because there was another Tanya Williams at SAG when you uh, had to go register your name, right? Oh, exactly, and so standing at the at the desk, I had to make up a name in two seconds, that not occurring to me that I might have to live with this name for a long time. I thought, oh, it's just just for the paperwork, just throw this name in. And then people started calling me this name like it was my first name, Tanya Lee, Tanya Lee, which I've hated. <laughs> <laughs> for 20 years <laughs> and I've now done everything possible the Lee is gone it's gone from my union things it's gone from like everything because the original person who had Tanya Williams has either died or stopped working in the business oh, so I claimed my own name back congratulations you're the we're sitting here with the original one and only Tanya exactly. Williams a uh, Canadian actress a lot of people knew you from Young and the Restless mm -hmm. which you were on how long were you on the Young and the Restless for uh almost 20 years that's a long time because you were quite young when that started. That was quite a, a learning curve. I wasn't. Curve. I wasn't that young. <laughs> I just looked young. But no, I'd been working already in the business for about 15 years before I started The Young and the Restless. I loved it because in the you know it's it's uh, it's the kind of work you I enjoy doing. So definitely I I love doing that. And what's great about working on one character for that long for me is that you could keep peeling away layers and layers and layers. Oh, now that I've now that I'm more mature, I could have added that level to it. So you're constantly molding your character when you're in a long-term um, show like it like it was on Young and the Restless. It impacted women at that time. Yeah. It impacted black women at that time. I in fact I got an award once with uh, it was I think a. Uh, uh, something like the Black American Doctors Association gave me an award because when I started on the show and over a 10 year period of being on the show, more young women were applying, black women, wow. applying to do medicine. Those kind of things made me feel fantastic that you can make that kind of impact in people's lives and make those kind of changes. But the thing about daytime is it happens once and it's gone. Yeah. It's not like making certain movies that people will replay um, like it's a wonderful life. Yeah, Every Christmas, yeah, you know, yeah. Jimmy Stewart will forever live in our hearts forever because even yeah. if just that one movie, let alone the amazing thing, with soap operas, it's more like um, it's more like fast food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like people are enjoying it that moment. It's affecting them that moment. But I'm not sure 50 years from now anyone's going to remember <laughs> those oh, yeah, things yeah. that happened then.